Well, here's something I bought at Cox's. It is a print by RTA. They say it's signed. There's a scribble over here that's a signature, but I think it's the same on all of them I looked at. Uh, this was the second or third rag that I cleaned this off with. That is cigarette smoke. That's how thick it was. Uh, I, I noticed that... I don't see it so much now, but there was some spots that I can see that kind of... I don't think you can see it. There we go. Uh, I'm hoping, I'm thinking about cutting the back. Because it probably smells like cigarettes anyway. And I will take off this layer and I will put down a brown crepe paper. But that way I'll be, hopefully can get in there and see the condition of the print. And uh, try to move it away from this glass. It's not the best thing to have it up against the glass because that's how your artwork sticks to the glass. Someplace in Erie framed it, but uh, over online they're selling for over a hundred bucks. I paid twenty-five. I'd like to leave it in the frame, but be easier to roll it unless it ha I don't believe it's on like a board. It's definitely, I think, a piece of some kind of paper, but I won't know until I get into it. And then, uh, that way, maybe I can get it away from the glass and see. I'm hoping all the stuff that I see is all just some old condensation that's behind the glass, only on the glass. But either way, I'll know. So, and I'll probably just sell it loose that way. Unless I put it back in the frame, then I'll redo the back. Oh boy, and then drop it and smash it. Oh shoot. There it goes again. What is this tape for? I don't know. You know, so I got Chuck Norris kite. Kick. This kite flies itself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to try to clean the plastic because it's grubby. It has a hill sticker on it. Uh, there's a couple listed. They want too much for it. But, so I'm figuring it gave me room to sell one for 20 bucks if I can clean it and without ruining the image on the plastic. Okay, a little bit of window cleaner and let's see if there's a lot of filth on this. I can't really do this. I'm only going to do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. That shows that. Now I'm going to shut this off so I can do it properly. Well, I cleaned up pretty good, I guess. Uh, I had to be careful because... Uh, all that artwork can smear right off. There's already a few spaces where it's a little light. You can see it. Oh, and, then, and some full drops there on the bathroom floor. <laughs> nah. Shined it up a little bit. Looks all right. That's all it's supposed to be is to not selling it for a working kite, just a display piece. Even though the kite's probably fine, except for if some fool would drop it and break something. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty neat. Old Chuck Norris. Yeah, boy. Sir Slim Pickens. I spent $70 and I don't know what I bought. I spent 25 on that print. I know that. So I was going to tape some stuff. Uh, I bought this tray because these are on it and also three glass stirring sticks of deer. I believe they're reindeer. So they might sell, but uh, these are on here. And when I picked them up at Cox's, I swear I smelled Bakelite. Even though they're kind of an odd Bakelite, they're transparent blue. They're kind of cool. And they do look like plastic, but I swear I smell Bakelite. This tray uh, has a huge chip. Now... Looking at it as a display piece, if it was up high, you're not going to see that. And you're not going to see that some idiot tried to fill the colors back in. Because evidently it lost its, uh, over the years it's lost its colors. So they, uh, unless somebody totally faked the entire thing. But if you look real carefully, you can see that they've colored in the lines on it. So. I don't know what to think. They had lost scripts because they probably used this tray a lot. Beer scraping across it, and alcohol would clean that printing probably right off there. But oh, these plastic trays are really rare, so I don't know if I'll get any money out of it. I mainly wanted these because I thought they were going to be good. Uh, I'm going to test them still. I didn't smell them. Usually I don't need to test anything because I can smell Bakelite. But ever since getting COVID years ago, uh, my smell isn't what it used to be. Well, I smell probably worse than usual. But. Ha, ha, ha.
Now, the smells back, I can definitely smell them. They are Bakelite. That's probably, I don't know whether they sell them as a pair or separate. They have some marks. I knew they were Bakelite because the way the finish wears on Bakelite, and there is not much you can do. They say, oh, you can, you can heat it and all this crap. I don't know. I've never found anything that works that great. They're very weird. I've never seen anything like these before, so I don't know. I tried looking them up, but that's not easy to do either. And maybe the tray is still worth something, even though somebody's farted around with it, but we'll see. Yeah, there was uh, some junk at the end that I bought. I bought a box of Halloween-related stuff, and I got down to the bottom, and there was some food box. I thought somebody left their food, and I picked a Shrek box up, and it had stuff inside it, which wasn't any good. But out of all the stuff, I thought I was going to have some new, neat little gifts, because everything was wrapped carefully. And the only two good things I thought were at all good was this penguin, not worth much by uh, Shinking, Shinking, and this little rabbit thing from Ensco. It's a little jar, and the head comes off. Uh, probably not worth anything. Uh, what's this stuff, Larry? And there was a couple doilies in there. And then, oh, they paid $4 to get this angel, which I probably could have held off, but it's October angel. There's a mate that goes would be facing the other way, and there's a girl that holds a red mask. But she's got the pumpkin and everything, so I think that's probably 20 bucks if I hold out and not give it away. Uh, and I got the stuff at the end. I made Al pile everything up. I'll go two bucks if it's a whole pile <laughs> or something. Uh, somebody had put these uh, Star Wars uh, washcloths in a lot. And then they, but they had this cup with a ladder stuck in it. And I wanted the cup. What am I pointing at? Um... Court of two sisters. Who, who, who to do? Uh, Chris, Chris, Chris. I don't know what this is. Like a, I don't know if this is a voodoo type thing written on it. Because there's a grand zombie. Congo Square. Is this something in New Orleans? I'll look up Court of two sisters. I'm assuming if it's in New Orleans, that's where I'll find it. Uh, oh, here's another box. I did not look in. Oh, there's stuff in there. We'll see together what's in that one. This is a terrible uh, thing. Oh, here's my. Here's the glass stirring sticks, swizzle sticks with the. Are those? Yeah, I would say those are probably reindeer. Can you see them? See, they got green horns. I paid two bucks to get this Beatrix Potter planner. I don't see any problems with it. They're not worth much. It's like a ten dollar thing, but that's cool. I wasn't buying much. I was getting desperate there at the end. I had to bid up the the girl that takes the uh, writes all the stuff down. She wanted D and D that was up there, and I wanted it. And she ended up. I ran her clerk to sixty bucks. Not not to be mean. Just uh, it was worth a lot of money. And there was a set of original dice in the box too, which were probably worth the fifty or sixty bucks. And I started thinking, well, I think I only saw one set of six of those, and I'm pretty sure that box had seven. So probably a complete set, which would probably make it even more money. And she was giving it to her. Her kid wanted it, but that's not my problem. I need to make a living, and there was only a few things I really cared about. One was those Bakelite dice, ashtrays, and uh, on the tray, and then, because uh, I looked the tray up, I wasn't sure what, I didn't think much of it, and then I checked, and it was one of the better ones. Taz pen, by the way. <laughs> not any good. Uh, let's see, what's in this box? Okie doke. It's a butter box. We got ourselves a little cat, Santa cat. What is that? I love you. I love you too, old guy. All right. What's this? Uh oh. I'm not gonna be able to do this because. Uh. All right. We got that. Let's see if it's focusing. Oh God. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I don't know. Who cares? My videos are terrible. We got one bone china little duck. And we got a squirrel, M666. Oh boy, you're evil. Uh, a couple more things in the bottom. Let's see what they are. Hopefully something really cool. Uh-oh, we got two things. What should we do first, left or right? Come on, think hard. Oh, right? All right. Wait, oh, was that your right? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's some kind of figurine. Could be cool. Oh, oh, oh my 
my god, how cute is that? Oh, you can't see it, you say. Look at that, little kitty with whiskers. I made room on my shelf with a, uh, getting rid of a Jiminy the Cricket, so maybe this cat can find a new home on my shelf and get knocked off by my drunken friend Dan knocking stuff into the toilet. <laughs> he doesn't watch these videos enough or he would he'd complain about me saying that. Uh, I got a little bird and a little spotted pig. I would have gave that to Jerry at the auction if she wouldn't have bid against me on that D&D &D thing. Her kid didn't need that. It's just a fad. They're not going to understand D&D because &D they watch Stranger Things or Metallica. You got to live it. Oh boy, another little piggy. This little piggy's pretty cool and it's made Bug House, Taiwan. Hmm. Nice little bone china. So is this one. It's not a bug house unless the sticker's gone. But, uh, chippy ears. Oh well, somebody sure took a lot of time to, uh, protect things that were already damaged. I, I swear, oh, there's something still in here. What was that? Is that the thing? Oh, I didn't unwrap this one yet, right? This is the left hand. I thought I did. Oh my god! Oh my god, buddy, are you broken? Oh my god, you're not broke? What's the odds of that? And how cool is this guy? It's a walrus. Call the police. Uh, he's got pink on his face. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, and maybe that was supposed to be his lips or something? I don't know. Pretty cute looking. I got a couple things at Goodwill today. I still have to go out to the band, so it's going to be a crappy video as usual. Uh, tripod, $4.99. I can't tell if it's got a special release head thing. It's got a top on it. That's all I checked. I made sure the brackets weren't broke, or the, you know, the clamps. Uh, four, five bucks. I can resell it if I don't keep it. I got this. Um, down there, it was $4.99. They're not really worth much. It's just the audio book pretty good. I'm listening to disc one. The one isn't even open. They didn't make it to part... Well, they got part nine, but part eight is not open, so I don't know what the deal was. <laughs> but wooden box, they don't sell for very much. I kind of figured when I looked it up it would be that way. And then I got this one. Uh, the Silmarillion? Or Silmarillion? Uh, I'm not going to do it. Silmarillion. Yeah, uh, it is uh, just another book set. Kind of cool. Uh, might listen to it before I sell it. This one's actually worth a little more, I think. Um, I don't know. It was selling for around 15 bucks too, plus shipping. But I also saw it sell for higher than that, so maybe we'll see. The discs are all beautiful. Probably played once, or in some cases, not at all. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you being a good boy, Poppy? Are you sad? Mom bought you treats. I know she did. She told me. You're spoiled. Are you spoiled? <sighs> That's good coffee, I guess. Uh, this is the mess that is last night. <laughs> Uh, a Halloween box I bought, had a couple pumpkins, I don't know what I paid for it, but it had, uh, this spider, which is pretty cool, poseable, so it was worth what I paid, I paid like four bucks for the box or something, I don't know, a couple of them dumb carving kits, it'll all be fodder for the flea market, bottle. oh, there is an eyeball light set, which is cool, and then there's something, oh, there was some, books got left in the lot. I think I bought the rest of the lot because I wanted something that was in there that uh, I ended up taking that, I don't know if I added this yet, that print I got of the fancy lady and her dog. That I took it out of the frame. The marks on it were part of it, unfortunately. I don't know all this crap. Here's a very filthy Peter Chris doll. It's not old, it's something new, like 90s, maybe 2000. 
Boy, it is nasty. Poor Pete. The hard life. Uh, and these books. They were all part of the deal. Not the Halloween crap. The dollar at the end of the lot. Uh, Second World War. Figure that's a dollar on my tarp. Black Beauty coloring. Or no, it's not coloring book. It's just a story book. Um, Soldiers from the American Revolution. That's pretty cool. Oh, I guess you could color them. I don't know if it's worth it. And then there's like three Rambo books at different fading degrees. One completely, one a little, and one some on the edge. But they're coloring books. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're probably not worth much. Um, and a coloring book for the Civil War. And they're probably, yep, somebody's already, hey, somebody did some, a couple good colors. Alright. So there's that junk. I, uh, like I said, I hate luck. There was two ghosts you could hang up to. Uh, I don't see any name on them. Oh, right here. Made in China. So they're not very good. Anywhere within the last 30 years. Uh, there's some of these little religious... Oh, that's not religious. That has nudies. Because there was a, a piece of fabric, like a wall hanger with naked chicks on it. Old women. I don't know what it was. These are like religious things. But Titanic. I don't know what they are for sure. Story of the Titanic. This was your life. I don't know what that is. I guess you're dead. Holy Joe. And, uh... Whatever this is. Rail splitters. Uh, so, I don't know if they have any value. My Halloween lights are probably all smoke covered. Eh, yeah, actually, might be alright. Came from that same lot with all the cigarettes and smoke. Uh, some of them must have been in the same spot, I guess. Or the stuff that was really smoky was because it was still in the residence. Uh, shoot, I guess I don't have a box to put stuff in to take in the house. Uh, there's a bag of this junk, ants, spiders, and skeletons, and a bat, and whatnot. The box keeps on giving. There's a little eye. Let's see if we wind up. Oh, God. What is this? I have one of these. I don't know where it got. Eerie, Indiana. Oh, what? Was this a McDonald's toy? Maybe. Where's the sound of back? Hearst, China, 1999. That's actually cool. I didn't realize it had that. The Erie Indy. Can you see it? <laughs> I think these might be erasers. They were part of that junk from last night. There was some, those boxes filled with stuff. Turned out there wasn't much in there. I guess I said that earlier. A skeleton eraser. So there's a bunch of erasers. Some crud on some of them. Probably wash off the. Uh, yeah. It's got a Tigger hanger, bouncing straight to mischief. I don't think it's probably worth selling, but let's see if there's a year on it. Uh, no. Don't know when it was made. Uh, and there's a Smurf, or Smurf, <laughs> Shrek, cheese nips. I remember eating these dumb things. What year was that? Uh, hmm. 2004. God. Oh. Shrek's almost 20 years old? Holy cow! Wow. Coffee. Don't want crud in it. So I got this for a buck. Kind of cool. Got a black kitty cat and two puppies. I got a thing of bottles. I only bought it because it's two bucks and there was a Cincinnati Reds mug in there. Which 1972 WLW Radio 7 National League Champion. I hope you all sell that. Uh, this was a Mountain Dew bottle. It, I, at first I thought it was a remake, but I think this is an original bottle. Uh, do not, not to be refilled. Uh, probably no date. Uh, 10 ounce bottle Mountain Dew. It'll tickle your innards. Ha! I uh, doubt it's worth a lot, but all these bottles will sell at the flea market for a buck or two. There was a little cold cream thing or some uh, palm olive. No lid, unfortunately. Um, this coffin shaped bottle, I think those are cool. I may keep that on my porch. There's two of these things uh, Rockwell International Dubois PA. I don't know, I guess that's a hotel maybe? It's a bank. I mean, that's a bank, but the. Ha! 
uh, Sager Town with a fox or whatever on it. Kind of cool. Uh, like I said, probably not worth a lot. And then there's a, I left a few of them sitting up there. Crystal beverages and a can to dry with a cap. I kept some of these things out of my dollar buys. I think they're ornaments, but I mainly kept them for the box. I think this is like a glass apple or something. Yeah. Probably blurry. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty neat. Um, there was a pile of Star Trek. Like I said, this is all in the still in the dollar. Um, some Star Trek TV guides. One with Janeway. And then there's two of the same ones. So I'm like, I don't think they're worth a lot, but I haven't checked the TV guide value for so long. It's been a while. Uh, Al brought over these because I guess somebody left them laying. So there's three Xbox games and a racing stripes. Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't know what they're in, kind of shape they're in. I did not look at them. Uh, my dollar lot. Oh, wait. See, I must have bought two ends of the lot because... Or no, maybe I took these for a buck because she did that dollar deal. I took these camels, hand cards. I don't know, maybe I'll give them that guy's wife at the flea market. A glass boat, which was free with Irwin, my dollar, a bunch of junk. Oh, you know, the camels, nobody took them, so I took them. I don't think I paid anything for them. And same with these things. There's something in there. That's an empty. I left the other one up to the other apple. This was free. Aloha, Hawaii. I should have bought the end of another lot. There was a carved wood apple, or a pineapple from Hawaii, and a, couple, a bunch of other junk, and some girl finally decided to take it, so I lost out. There's a couple of decks in the mini, you know, two window kits. I don't know the tape will still be good, but the plastic's great. Um, and there was an X-Acto knife I kept. X-Acto gripper! And a little light. That's an oldie. Uh, yeah, my dice were uh, Bakelite. I found out after I got them cleaned up. I did the test again. I didn't test them with the chemical. But Barbie Bazaar, these are all free. They were under the table for my or my dollar lot, I guess. Or collecting toys, like I said, another dollar each. Maybe this for two, because it's got the Millennium Falcon. It's one with the Abba Dabba Dollars. Lost in space. I used to have this in my store. These are from 98, too. I probably sold them. I mean, I got this high up in them because they didn't sell good enough, so I quit ordering the junk. But kind of cool. Lots of great color photos in these. I got two copies of that. They must have sold real good for whoever had these dumb things, too. Not. So, um, that's getting about it. Didn't buy a lot. I spent a lot, it seems. Uh, there's something in that box. I don't remember what. There's them lighters I ripped off that guy for. <laughs> uh, what is this? I don't know what it is. Is it a pumpkin? Where did I get this out? I don't know where it, oh, it's a Winnie the Pooh. Is that Winnie the Pooh? Oh, I don't know where these came from. Ah, this is a Winnie the Pooh. I don't understand how this thing on the back works. There's like a hinge part and then this thing that does not do it's like it should be the other way and to be a easel, but I don't know. It's a mistake. I still see a buck or two in my future for it, maybe. Uh, here's a bottom is around. Oh, here it is. Light. Ooh, light. I'll always use an extra one of these lights. I don't know if that goes with the pumpkin. Oh, yeah, it does. That pumpkin must light up. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Now, why was Winnie the Pooh in there and why is he messed up? I do not know. These questions will never be answered, probably. Alright, I guess... I don't know if there's anything else. I hate these makeshift search or, uh, things, because they don't do my awesome finds the justice they deserve. Uh, I thought there was something... Oh, this is a box of styrofoam pop peanuts that had something in it that wasn't even worth protecting. I think that's that dog thing from my last haul. There's those videos I still have not gone through that somebody gave me. And that's it, I guess. Oh, and I got a ruler for Erie. Uh, uh, Gerard Fairview Lake City Mill Creek. Erie 8th Security People's Trust Company. It's a nice big thick wide ruler. I think I'm going to keep that for eBay. Spider. 
This is probably going to be the end of this video. I don't know what it's going to amount to. It's probably going to be a real mess. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Now, uh -oh, now I've got a camera on, a coffee in my hand, an eyeball in my hand, and the lid is open. Oh, all right, here we go. Everybody get their bellies full, Leia? Never. See, their dry cat food did not go good. I got my lantern. My lanta. Aw, oh, Papa, did you clean the house when it was out? Oh, really? I expect better of you, Poppy. Say bye. Miros, I just vacuumed that table off. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, I was happy to see my uh, space station went up to 51 bucks. Uh, it's the yeah, guys only got like 20 some feedback. That's all right. It's uh, I guess it's not that noticeable that the piece is gone and the thing sells for a lot. I don't know if there's one available right now and it has delivery little ships with it. So yeah, still got two days. Boy, look at those eyeballs. <laughs> Pretty neat. A little yellow around the edge, but I don't know if that's blue or what. Mm -hmm.